हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल ड्रॉप अ लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट टुडे इज ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर थ्री नाइनटी नाइन ऑफ सर कैलाश चंद्रा वॉल्यूम नंबर नाइनटीन ऑन द स्पीड ऑफ हंड्रेड वर्ड्स पर मिनट स्टार्ट अबाउट इलेवन ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स हैव टेकन पार्ट इन द डिबेट and have given valuable suggestions on the electoral reforms the bill that is before the house is only on one point that is countermanding of elections should not be there if an independent candidate dies but taking this opportunity almost all the members have expressed their views on the need for electoral reforms at an early date as far as this bill is concerned i don't think there will be any objection from any member even the honorable member who moved this statutory resolution said that if the government assures that it is going to bring in a comprehensive electoral reforms bill as early as possible he has no objection to this this ordinance had to be issued because of the experience in parliament and assembly elections in various states particularly in the state of punjab during the last punjab elections a number of candidates particularly independent candidates were killed and that has made the government think seriously what it should do elections in 13 parliamentary constituencies including the ones in punjab were countermanded elections in 22 assembly constituencies in the whole country including 9 in punjab had to be countermanded so this high incidence of deaths has made the government think and come forward with an ordinance which will enable the elections to go on in spite of deaths of independent candidates the effect of it you have seen in punjab this time the incidence of deaths was not so high we were able to conduct the elections and the government elected by the people of punjab was restored after a long time i hope the house will agree unanimously as far as this part of it is concerned about the electoral reforms the government is also more serious we have been making a lot of efforts i will come forward with some of the suggestions later but as the honorable member dr jan has said a lot of effort has gone into this thinking about the electoral reforms the prime minister called a meeting of the leaders long back and later on late shri dinesh goswami who was the minister of law had constituted a committee under his chairmanship and made a deep study and had come forward with two or three bills three bills are also pending in the parliament we could not proceed with them regarding delimitation of the constituencies we have introduced a bill recently the bill that was introduced earlier was based on the 1981 census now the 1991 census is over we thought we should take advantage of that and go in for delimitation of the constituencies one of the suggestions that have been made by the members was that the scheduled caste constituencies should be rotated 
this is also under the consideration of the government about the appointment of election commissioner and other things the government is of the opinion that we should take up these things along with other suggestions only after that and after consulting the opposition leaders the government will take a decision and we will come forward with a consolidated bill this process we have already started we were waiting for the recommendations on the electoral reforms from the election commission we have received them only recently we are trying to produce a paper and consult various political parties we expect to complete this consultation process before the parliament session ends in may 1992 if possible we will try to bring forward the bill during this session itself otherwise in the next session of parliament we will bring a consolidated electoral reforms bill before this house shri dinesh goswami's suggestions have been taken into consideration the committee headed by him has done a good job that is why he had introduced four bills The most important of them is the multi-purpose photo identity cards. Non-serious candidates have to be avoided. How to avoid booth capturing? All these points are engaging the attention of the government. In the recent elections, we have seen that there was a need not only for the security of the independent candidates but also for the security of political party candidates a number of candidates have filed their nominations i have seen in one constituency that there were about 20 independent candidates accompanying 20 independent candidates were security personnel totaling 80 at the rate of one sub inspector one head constable and two constables 20 candidates and 80 people personnel accompanying them looked like an army marching what kind of an impression it will create on the voter we should seriously think of avoiding these independent candidates that is very important point we have many suggestions to this effect some honorable members have suggested that the deposit money may be raised raising the deposit money alone will not solve the problem they also suggested that there must be 10 elected proposers for every non serious independent candidate 